every day, sitting in his office in his lab, making products that smelled bad or had a bad flavor, or he'd make me taste every product and said, every, every horse has to like the product just as much as you. So if you don't like it, the horse isn't gonna like it. She's a blue jean baby with her hat down low Chasing that wild wind wherever it blows Flying through the night just as fast as she can go Yeah, it's one right, two left Right like hell round a clover leaf pattern That you know so well Sitting just right with the reins in her hands Underneath the bright lights Chasing it Okay, so first time this has happened, mm -hmm. he's getting a little bit more uncontrollable than normal. Yes. Yesterday okay. I didn't actually come off. Today okay. I came off the back end. Okay. And we know he's not sore. We know there's no issues with no. that. This horse has had everything injected before we got here and got a, because before this he was coming up sore and lame. Okay. And I've had everything done and he is completely sound. Okay. Um, so we know there's no issues with that. He's 100% right. sound. No problems there. Earlier today we had a customer that came up that does really well. She pretty much is always in the tootie every time. She has a very nice, well cowbred horse. Never has a problem. He's super easy going, very relaxed, mm -hmm. warms up great, and today is her first time in six years she doesn't want to go in the alleyway. And she's an older lady and she got really nervous and it really scared her. Right. And she said that she was going to run again tomorrow and she didn't know what to do. She was very nervous about that happening again. So she came to the booth, she had used oxygen in the past, we talked about her horse, figured out what his issues were, doesn't seem to have problems, got checked out by the vet, no issues. She tried the relax and the practice pen today, just wanted to see if he was different, and in a very small dose of 20 cc's, he was completely different. So she's gonna run again tomorrow. We're gonna hope for the same effect, and the idea is that they stay relaxed. We want you to have a nice, calm horse that's gonna save his energy for the run and not waste it out in the warm-up pen or in the alleyway. This has got four doses in it, okay. so you can go ahead and give him a dose now get his stomach settled, promote his appetite, get him to where he's comfortable eating and drinking, wants to go out, do his job, That's stay strange. relaxed. He's not eating like he usually does. Okay. I mean, he's eating, but not like okay. he would usually eat. So that's very common than okay. with a horse that has stomach issues. Okay. They're just nervous. He's got too much anxiety going on here. He needs to relax. He needs to be calm in his stall. So eating and drinking is very important because they have to promote that appetite. You have to get the stomach settled enough to where they want to eat, they need energy, they have to get that energy from their feed and then feel like they can go and do their job. So we would start with this product, okay. let's go ahead and give it to him now, let's get that stomach to where he promotes an appetite, gets him back to eating and drinking, we'll give him a dose again before he runs and then we'll respond with how he's doing based on is this dose strong enough, do we need to go with something a little bit stronger or look into a different product. Uh, when I came out of college, I went through college on a Marine Corps scholarship, so I was a Marine Corps officer, including a general's aide for a few years. Um, decided to move on to normal life. So the company was started by my father, Dr. Jack McOwen, back in 2001. He had been on the faculty at both Michigan State and Texas A&M for a number of years. And the last thing he did at the university was run the Biotechnology Institute for Michigan State which is where they tried to figure out how to market all the incredible research that the professors do. And he kept coming across things that were interesting and they kept saying, nah, don't bother. And he said, well, when I retire, do you mind if I take that with me? And um, they said, sure. So when he retired, he came out here and found Beth and said, I've got some great stuff that we could make a great feed with. Would you like to partner up? So in 2001, Beth and Dr. Jack got together with the team here and started manufacturing livestock supplements. That quickly evolved to equine supplements, and now we feed almost any kind of animal you can think of. Well, my name is Beth Andrus, and I grew up in Detroit. 
Michigan, obviously, and uh, went to school there, and then uh, went to Michigan State University and graduated with my bachelor's in 69 and my master's in 71, and uh, married my husband in 76 and moved to this area. His family had homesteaded this area uh, back in the 1800s, but this was all new to me, basically having met him at, at the university. The original mill here was built in about 1878 when the railroad came through. And um, it originally was just the tall three-story structure, what, which we call the cupola on the top. And the main crop grown in this area at that time was uh, dry navy beans. And so the women would sort the beans and uh, pick the stones out by hand, and then they'd bag them in 100-pound bags, and they'd be shipped in rail cars all over the country. Um, and that, that was the main thing it did. And then over the years, uh, three more wings were added on to the, to the old mill. And um, it was used, it was in production until August of 2016 when we moved into our new facility. My husband and I bought this feed mill in 1993, but in 1997, uh, Dr. Jack McGowan came along and he and I formed a business partnership um, to expand the business. And uh, in 2000, he invented the first oxygen product, which was called Oxygen. And uh, we sold it primarily into livestock, uh, mostly cattle, and then later into sheep and uh, hogs and goats. So he did all the traveling, and he met Martha Wright, Martha and Ed, and um, they became fast supporters, and, and we developed with them the Oxymax product. And also he met Mary Berger, and Mary was very successful on Rare Fred when she won the NFR and was, you know, uh, that ch the champion for that year. So that was a huge uh, feather in the cap. And, and that really just helped us move along. Um, and then uh, we hired uh, Allie after she came out of college. And Jack had known Allie, I don't know, maybe she's talked about this, I don't know, since she was about 11. And um, originally developed the OxyBoost product at her suggestion because she needed something to use on a, as a performance paste. Uh, and so we developed OxyBoost. So in 1999, I met the original owner, Dr. Jack McGowan and I was competing in the Oklahoma City BFA Futurity and the youth event. I was 12 years old maybe. So I, I met this gentleman that was in the livestock supplements and he approached me and my family to look at some horse products that he had just made and he was intrigued by how well my horse performed at such a young age and he got to be friendly with my family and we went to dinner and discussed his products he wanted to make for the equine industry and asked if I'd be interested in trying them and maybe look into a possible sponsorship and it went from there from 1998 till 2017. Jack is still chairman of the board, uh, but he's really pulled back from any kind of day-to-day -day, um, involvement in the company. Uh, he has a couple little projects he's kind of working on, but, uh, but uh, and, and I email, we email almost every day. I talk to his wife every other week or so. But it was his real genius idea to take that octocosinol, which had been a supplement used by humans, and put it into animals and that really launched the company. And that, that was Jack's doing, yes. Welcome to the new state-of-the-art oxygen supplement mill. It's uh, environmentally controlled year-round, and we have behind us here the state-of-the-art mixer that we use. It's a multi-axis mixer, so it isn't just spinning in a circle, it's moving back and forth, getting a complete mix. The mixer itself is controlled by the computer over here. For the bulk ingredients, we bring in the soybean and the corn from the company farms. They're stored in outside bins and brought in automatically when we start up the new batch of supplement. It's computer controlled. The active ingredients we add by hand. When we do it, we print a batch sheet and make sure that as we add the ingredient, the total weight in the mixer is equal to what the batch sheet says. So we make sure that we're always correct. 
What you see right here is bulk alfalfa. All of our pellets are alfalfa based because it makes a very nice quality pellet and it's very palatable. When we mix the ingredients, we don't do it short, we do it long. We're not a feed mill, we're not a pharmaceutical company. We're able to spend our time to mix the ingredients thoroughly so that we know every dose of our supplement has the right amount of active ingredients. It makes us a little different from everyone else. We have a proprietary cold pelleting process where we don't use excess heat because we don't want to damage the ingredients and we don't create a bunch of moisture in the pellet so our pellets stay fresher longer. This is the pellet mill, so when that's done being mixed, it'll go up through one of the tubes and go into the pellet mill. The pellet mill then forces the ingredients through a die. We use two different size dies. The larger die is for the horses because it's easier for them to eat. It won't get lost in the bottom of the feed pan. The smaller die is for the livestock that don't matter as much in terms of the size of the pellet. Okay, when the pellet comes out at the bottom here, it's warm to the touch. Most feed mills would be too hot to touch, but because we have a proprietary cold process, we can make them almost room temperature when they come out. But we still put them up a conveyor and put them over here into the cooler, which sucks a vacuum off the top of it, raising the heat and cooling the pellet very quickly. And then most importantly, when it comes out the bottom of the cooler, there's a shake table there that gets rid of all the dust. We don't want any of that dust in your bucket. We don't want any of that dust around your animal. When it comes out of the, of the uh, cooler, it goes up the blue conveyor and goes into the holding bin where we can either fill large bins that we work from or 50 or 100 pound bags, depending on how fast the product moves. What you'll notice in the far corner is a cyclone because the entire system is based on a vacuum um, air cleaning system that keeps all the dust out of the building. That's great for your animal and great for the people that work in the building. As you can see, we have a very clean environment. It's very safe and very clean. the idea of helping horses. So as I got older and I wanted to be competitive, I was doing really well in college. I had a really nice horse. I was amateur rodeoing, circuit rodeoing in the Southeast. I was very enthralled into horse supplements. I wanted to know what was the best care for my horse, what was the best approach to natural care, what was I going to get for the money I was spending. You know, I'm a college kid on a budget trying to win barrel races and trying to study at night. So it was, it was difficult for me, but I wanted the best care for my horse. And at that point, I tried many companies out there. I wanted to try every product. I wanted to be able to be the most knowledgeable on what the market had, what was best for my horse, and what was the best care I could give him. And at that point, I decided that being in the animal nutrition industry was kind of where my heart was. So after I graduated my master's in animal nutrition, I decided to work for Oxygen. Dr. Jack McGowan worked at Texas A&M for many years, and in his retirement, he was looking into athletes, mostly human athletes, that were using octocosanol as a support for metabolism and muscle development to enhance cell division, just overall health. And at that time, he realized that there was nothing in the marketplace for equine or livestock animals. And it was natural, there wasn't anything harmful about it, and it was the most overlooked use supplement that you could buy and, and use as an athlete, human-wise or in, in animals. And so in his retirement at Michigan State, he developed the oxygen technology, which is our famous oxygen formula. And it's a proprietary blend of octocosanol and vitamin E. And that was the original starter oxygen product itself that we took that covered all species and then the paste as well. From there, we went on into using that technology into every product we make. So no matter what you get from oxygen, it will always have the oxygen formula and that technology in it, plus added support based on the type of care that you're looking for. I got taken under the wing with the owner, Dr. Jack, and he really spent 
a day-to-day -day basis with me on creating formulas, writing formulas out on the chalkboard, asking me what, I, what product we should make today. I remember spending many hours trying the pellets that you feed your horse every day, tasting the paste, adding vanilla flavoring to it if we thought we should change it. He really broke it down to an easy science to understand. So in 2012, I moved to Michigan, sold my horses, my truck, my trailer, bought a car, moved to the city, and it kind of took, took it from there. And I've been with the company now since then, based out of Michigan and handling the equine division. So each day when our customers order product, we put the most current product that's controlled by a lot number up into the table here. And as it comes down the table, it's sifted once again for fines. We want to make sure that as much of that is out of the bucket as we can, and they have just the solid pellet to feed your animals. They'll come down here, and per order, they'll fill the buckets on the scale, and then they'll seal them and put them in boxes. If the product needs post-coating, they'll take it over to the, the mixer over here, and depending on what the product is and what it needs, they'll apply the top coat, tumble it till it's dry, and then put it in the tub and package it for shipment. On a busy day, we'll do over 100 parcels. That's not 100 buckets of supplement because we'll take smaller buckets and put them in a larger box to save freight for our customer. But everything we do is based on beginning to end, the company farms to delivering to the customer to make sure that we have the best, highest quality supplement that you can get. So I'm an adventurer. I've the idea of moving to Michigan was a little scary. I'm originally from South Florida. I moved to Alabama for my undergrad. I moved to Kentucky. I've rodeoed across the country since the age of four. I thought I could handle it, but the idea of selling my horses and not riding and devoting seven days a week to this business was a little scary. You know, it had to be a big girl and make a decision that I needed a job and I needed a future and Horses would always be there, but I couldn't think of anything more exciting than being able to have a job in this field that makes me so happy to be a part of. So when I was a little girl, I couldn't think of anything more exciting than watching the NFR. Every year, I would sit up late at night. I didn't care if I was late for school. It didn't matter because I had to see what was going on in the barrel racing at the NFR. I have had the biggest crushes on Sherry Servi and Brittany Posey my entire life. Anything they did, anything they felt was the best ideas for their animals, that's what I did. It didn't matter what. And when I first met Sherry and it was, it was like pinch me. I didn't know what to do. I'm trying to act smart. I'm trying to un let her know that I understand what I'm talking about, but I just want to ask her for an autograph. It was, it was extremely exciting and a moment I'll never forget. Uh, we instantly became great friends. She's one of the greatest people I know in this industry and I love to ask for her advice, but I also love the fact that we've been able to work out a great relationship that she also understands the commitment I have to her horses and I want the best care that I possibly can provide for them. Really exciting to ask the barrel racers in the industry that are, are winning and doing well. If I talk to Brittany Posey, if I talk to Michelle McLeod or Jana Bean, I say, you know, what, what do you need? What does your horses program need that we're not providing? And the fact that we can sit down and create a product or work out a program that they feel we need is, is a great attribute to what we do. And I wouldn't expect it any other way. We 
would have thought 10 years ago would never happen, but, uh, but we were, actually, I don't, we saved our money, we paid cash <laughs> for everything. And so we, you know, we, just, we don't believe in debt. And I have a farm, I have enough debt, I have debt there. But I don't have, we don't have debt here at the elevator. We just, we pay as we go. So yes, we, yes, and it is obviously, you've, you've seen it, it's very much a step forward. And when my husband was a kid, I, you don't need to have this on the tape, but he used to come here and his great uncle, Lumen, owned the elevator at that time. And Lumen would hand him a broom and say, you need to sweep. And Jerry'd say, but I swept the last time I was here. And he'd say, sweeping's what we do, because <laughs> we make dust. So yeah, but we don't make so much dust anymore. That's very nice. Yeah. We're very proud of it, really. It's, it's, it is state of the art.